Wheeler's Weekend Jams here, live and direct, and we are back from Las Vegas. That is right, Las Vegas. We actually stayed out there for a couple days for the 311 Fourth of July weekend show. This actually makes 311 a 25-year band. Congratulations to those guys. And they decided to play the Blue Album on July 4th uh, with some rarities, since it is the 20th anniversary um, of the Blue Album. So it's been a hell of a weekend, let me tell you. Uh, you know, Vegas is such a fast-paced city. Obviously, there's a lot of gambling involved, a lot of uh, drunken nights, and uh, just really fun times. You know, it's a great place to be for vacation, I would say. You have to visit it at least once in your lifetime. But other than that, you know, I only lost about $50. I'm not a big gambler, but uh, I lost $50, and that was it. That was the end of story. So I moved on, you know what I'm saying? And back to this 311 concert that we all came for. Uh, people really don't realize how big 311 is. It's, it, that's what makes 311 so unique. Um, a lot of people just remember them from the 90s, and they always go, wow, are they still around? Well, yes, they are still around. They are still making incredible music. Uh, just came out with their 11th studio album last year, Stereolithic, and basically 311 is the new Grateful Dead. Uh, the, the way a lot of people are talking, um, just the following, the fans follow each show, including myself. Uh, and it's actually funny because the Grateful Dead just played a huge show at Soldier Field, uh, the first show they've had ever. And uh, it's, it's kind of funny that 311 was celebrating their 25th anniversary as a band while the Grateful Dead just came. Kind of kind of goes together, makes sense. Um, you know, and 311 on July 3rd and 4th played two different set lists. Uh, the third, they just played a completely random set list, um, various songs from different albums, of course. And then July 4th, they played the entire Blue album, uh, which was released in actually 1995. And uh, that's, the Blue album is how I found out about 311. I'll never forget, uh, back in fifth grade, I was always staying at my grandparents' house um, during the summer, and it was nice because they always had cable TV, and that's when MTV was MTV, when it was all about music. And I remember they would always play the top ten videos, and it was always uh, between Bone Thugs and Harmony, Crossroads, and then 311's song, Down, back to back, always. And the first time I saw 311's video for Down, um, it just blew my mind. They were the first band that I found on my own, you know. Usually uh, my parents or my friends would show me different bands and then I would get into them. But 311 I found on my own. And that was always something special. And that song down, I was so addicted to that song. Bought the Blue Album, their self-titled album I should say. And just fell in love with the band ever since. So when I found out that they were actually playing the entire uh, self-titled Blue Album in its entirety, it just had to go. It was one of those classic moments. Uh, it was extra special, you know, to say the least. It seems that a lot of bands nowadays are actually coming and playing anniversaries of albums. You know, uh, the Toadies, uh, we saw them last year. They uh, played their entire Rubberneck album. Uh, you know, Deftones just played Around the Fur up in Canada. Uh, there's, it just seems that a lot of bands now are playing classic albums. And, you know, some people might not ag agree with that, you know, saying that that's the lazy way to put on a show. But I, I figured if, you know, if it is the anniversary, like a 20-year anniversary of that album, you know, it's something special, like, I think it'd be great for any fan of whatever band um, that, you know, would play an anniversary of an album. Uh, you know, getting two birds stoned at once. <laughs> but no, seriously. Uh, it, it's, 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 a, it's a new thing now. Um, I think as long as the band does it and plays it right, I mean, I see nothing wrong with it. Um, but back to the July 4th day, 311 played the entire Blue Album, of course. And then after that, they played Rarities, B-Sides, which I have just, I just freaked out. That That is my dream. Uh, some of 311's best songs are B-Sides. Um, you know, you have Sun Comes Through, you have Tribute, Gap, um, Bomb the Town. 
Um, and of course, uh, they played Firewater, which is the first time I've ever seen live. Um, I pretty much pissed my pants. It was incredible. I know they played Firewater back at 311 Day 2012, but I wasn't there. Um, for all of you that you don't know, 311 also have 311 days every other year. They mostly do them in Vegas, Las Vegas, and New Orleans. Uh, I, I've attended three of those, uh, and they also do a 311 cruise every other year as well. So it's always 311 day, 311 cruise, 311 day. Um, they also had a 311 powwow as well, uh, which was a big camping festival. That was also uh, phenomenal, extremely hot, but phenomenal. They played the entire Transistor album. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's just, it's very special um, to, be a, to be a fan of a band like 311. You know, they, they spoil their fans. Uh, they know how much love and support, you know, we give to them. And, you know, to a lot of people that don't understand it, that's fine. You don't have to understand it because that makes it extra special to people like us, the fans. We care. Uh, you know, it's, um, it, you know, people go to church every Sunday and makes them happy because they get to see their friends and family. And, you know, th th that's, that's what it's like with 311. You go to a 311 show, you see all your friends and family. It's not just seeing the band. I mean, of course, that's why we're all there. Um, but it's also seeing some of your best friends, and there's just hugs all around, and, you know, drinks, and smoking some weed, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's a movement. It's definitely a movement. Uh, I don't consider 311 being a cult. They've been related to a cult following as well. Um, you could say that, but uh, not really a cult. It's uh, more of a power of happiness, a togetherness, you know, uh, people put in a lot of time, you know, to travel to go see 311 at different shows, because we know they're going to be playing different set lists every day, and that's something that a lot of bands don't do, um, you know, so, anyways, but uh, here's some footage, actually, of me standing in line, uh, the merchandise line in Las Vegas, talking to some uh, Chi-Town crew, and uh, what they wanted to hear. Um, of course, Firewater. So check it out right now. Fucking chain. All right, Dave. Are you All stoked? Right. How stoked are you? I'm fucking stoked, dude. What are you hoping to hear, man? Other than the blue album, obviously. Some firewater. Some firewater. Damn straight. Ooh. Danny boy. Ooh, firewater. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't know why, because I missed it. I missed Firewater. Got a, concert, too. got a concert call for Firewater. Uh, and, it, and I knew it was Firewater because how distorted it was on my phone. <laughs> Shy Town group right here. Got some Shy Town. Shy Town, Woo! baby, guys, one. You guys want to say anything to the camera? Anything about 311 that you stoked for? All these shows? I, I don't like 311. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You have to ask your permission. How, ex how excited are you for the 311 show? There you go. I'm so excited. Should get diapers. We were just talking about that. We're, we're talking paces now. We're talking paces. Yeah. Oh, cool yeah. Though, they light us like And you can see there, everybody's having a really good time, of course, and that was some live footage of Firewater. Sorry about the audio, but I had to record some of that. Um, fantastic time jumping in the water. That's always a very unique experience. Jumping in water at a show. Try it sometime. I'm telling you, just try it sometime. Uh, and actually, before the uh, the two shows of the 311, uh, sh before the 311 shows, Mr. DJ Soulman uh, was the opener. Uh, he actually had uh, Jay Randy come out and do a rap with him. Uh, Jay Randy is also very well known in the 311 community. 
Um, he's an all-around amazing artist, and uh, actually they had some after parties uh, each night of the 311 shows, and they had J. Randy, Unity All-Stars, and Crooked Trees. Um, and also uh, checked out S.A. Martinez of 311, his DJ set at uh, one of the casinos was also an after party of the first night and uh, you can check that out uh, right here There is a very transy, trippy S.A. Martinez DJ set. He was playing a lot of retro stuff, a lot of funk. Um, I saw one of his DJ sets actually on the first 311 cruise, and that was a hell of a time. You, you could tell it's just S.A. behind that kit, you know. He's always doing the, the groove, man. He's always got the groove, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to do this the rest of the interview. What do you think? I think people could still... Uh, understand what I'm saying? Okay, I'll stop, seriously. But, uh, also, uh, got to check out the other after parties at the House of Blues, and the Crooked Trees laid down. Wow. Here's some, uh, live footage of them right here. Definitely get a chance, go see 311, whatever state you're from or wherever you're at. If you haven't seen them live yet, do it. They've been around for 25 years. There's no excuse. They are one of the best live bands you will see um, nowadays and from this entire generation, I would say. And uh, also, check out wheelersweekendjams.com. Go check out all my reviews, my radio, and... Uh, Everything else, uh, going to be getting some uh, merch on there soon, I promise. Wheels We Can Jam shirts, uh, they're going very well. Got some stickers, go check out my site on Etsy. Uh, find me on my Facebook, find Wheelers We Can Jams on Facebook. Go to my Twitter, and much, much more. Um, other than that, subscribe, like, check out my YouTube channel. I'm out. Peace.